Ricky Ricardo Fíjate que está muy sabroso, pero me, me recuerda mucho la comida mexicana. Very good. I will try this together 100 times. Today, you're going to be trying Cuban food and play some Cuban trivia along the way. Have you ever tried Cuban food? I'm going to say no, but I'm sure I have. You know, I always say no to something, and then when you bring it up, it's like, oh, yes, I have. En realidad, no sé mucho de Cuba. Well, from what I've seen, I love Lucy. <laughs> like pollo con arroz. Oh, and uh, frijoles negros. Ropa vieja. Oh, wine sauce. Okay, we do something similar like this, carne de cebrada, but I use it for taquitos. It smells delicious. I've heard it, I've never had it. It smells delicious. And what is it? Platano. Oh, I thought it was sausage. Mira la carne que rica se mira. Okay. Similar to flavor to what something I will cook. You can never go wrong with beans. All the flavors together are delicious. They use a lot of black beans and arroz blanco. Compared to us, we use like more flavored rice. Delicious. Tiene parecido al, al picadillo de México. Está muy sabrosa. Fíjate que está muy sabroso, pero me, me recuerda mucho la comida mexicana. Ahí va. It's really good. It's more than onions and, and tomato. What's that taste? It's really delicious. Very tender, the meat. It really tastes better with a, when you complement it with a banana. And the beans, of course, the beans. Oh, can't go wrong with beans. Wow, I'm surprised. Ropa vieja is really good. It's, it's not bad. Tostones de plátanos. They smell really good. They don't smell like bananas. No tienen mucho sabor. Pienso que esto se le tiene que agregar algo. Ya sea, si lo quieres dulce, miel. O por qué no, sour cream y un poquito de miel o de curry cheese también con miel. Pero está muy rico. Ya combinado, está muy rico. I'm not feeling the flavor. It's giving, me, it's giving me a little too much oil. It smells really good, mm -hmm. so maybe not for me. Maybe if it was baked, maybe. But this is really good. Garlicky, cilantro. I could taste the cilantro a lot. Mm, very, very dry, but I can see why they use the cilantro. It's like eating maseca, but I don't taste the banana. Not sweet at all, and so it's like a tamal, pero bien seco. So which famous Cuban musician is known as the queen of salsa? Celia Cruz. La reina de la salsa, pues Celia Cruz. Azúcar. Ay, salsa. Celia Cruz. Ah, lechón asado. It smells delicious. I love onions. So, oh, I smell the onion. I could eat the onion raw like this. You give me the whole onion, I'll eat it like an apple. But it smells like carnitas. It looks like carnitas. Let me see if it tastes like carnitas. Oh, carnitas with beans and rice. Garlic sauce. I could taste a lot of vinegar. It's very citrusy. The onion makes it better. It's good, but it, that tanginess. But the meat is perfectly cooked. I could taste the pork. Maybe less citrusy, I would enjoy it more. But it's good. I'm glad I tried it. Está sabroso. Lo curioso es que es igual el arroz blanco, la combinación. El puerco en México lo hacemos muy sabroso de diferentes maneras. A mí me encanta hacerlo con chile colorado y nopales. Y así se me hace como más, mucho, muy sencillo. Sabe bueno. Oh, wow. Roasted to perfection. They added a vinegar part, but it tiene el sabor de eso del tacos de paso porque es del puerco. Muy good. Just missing my salsa, pero está bueno. Arroz con pollo. I've heard of arroz con pollo, but I think in many places we also, because we also have arroz con pollo, but it's cooked differently. Ooh, pollo como Ricky Ricardo. Ay, Ricky, Ricky, I cook you your favorite meal, pollo con arroz. It's delicious flavor-wise. It's the bread, so it is going to be dry. The texture is really good. It's like a thick, creamy texture on the rice. But it's good. Yo siempre pensé que el arroz con pollo cubano era revuelto. Por eso me llamó la atención que está separado. Y este tipo de arroz fue pues, tipo México, pero dices que es porque sabe un clásico arroz como mexicano. Y sí, este está muy bueno. El sabor está muy bueno. Mm, I can see why. And then with the banana, huh? Is um, the taste of it. Like they have cominos, but um, something that is not cominos, I don't know what they use, but it's really good. Garlic or garlic, huh? You cannot go wrong with the banana and the rice. Finally, I get to eat Ricky's food. I love chicken and it's Cuban. I like it, it's really good. What is the name of the famous Cuban cocktail made with rum, lime, juice, mint, 
sugar, and soda water. Mojito. Mojito. I don't even know what mojito is. I don't know anything about drinks. I do know the effects of it. Never would do that. I would say mojito. Correct. Oh. Right. But no sabe, right? Empanadas. Oh, okay, so it's not the sweet empanada. It looks pretty. It's como las gorditas, Okay, the pastry part, just for empanera, so any pastry you give me, I'm gonna like it. Very good. But you know what's missing? The banana. That sweetness with the tenderness that they're adding. Very good. Very good. I will try this again a hundred times. Y lo curioso, miro que no tiene grasa. Me gustó porque mira nada de grasa por dentro. José tiene lo clásico que uno usa en México para condimentar la carne. No está picosa. No está grasosa, que es lo que está muy sabrosa. Never had that beef empanada. Oh, I had it before, but I don't remember. Um, the, the beef has that taste of like the other beef, and very soft and gentle. And I think the cooking it for a long time, maybe they sounds like they marinated the meat too. And maybe that that's what's giving the taste of this. That one, yuca. It smells like the banana you gave me. Es como papa, verdad? Yuca. Remind me que es yuca. It's kind of like potato, it's like a starch. Almost looks like a fry, like a French fry, banana. It looks like a big french fry. Tastes like potato. It's too thick. The flavor is better than the banana chips, but it's very tasty. Sí, está como papa, pero más seca. O será la preparación. Pero más me picó el vinagre. Pero el sabor, el sabor es de papa. Está buena, pero el vinagre todavía me está aquí. Almost not like it was cheese sticks, but yuca's not my favorite. Even with the sauce too, it doesn't. Interesting. I guess yuca's not for me. Which year did Cuba gain independence from Spain? 1912? Será el 1912. 1865, 1898? 1898, you said? Uh, not 1912. Gaining independence from Spain? 1865. Incorrect. Ah, damn it. 1898. 1898? Mm -hmm. How did you like, like Cuban food? I liked it. The meats are delicious. Very similar to Mexican meat. I'm glad I tried it. Está muy sabroso también en la comida cubana. Son gente linda que no quita, aporta. A donde llega, aporta. Cuban food is not bad. I, I, now I know I can go to the Cuban restaurants and I'm not going to be afraid of, oh gosh, you guys extended my taste buds. It's delicious. Um, I'm not just going to order arroz con pollo, which probably will, but the other ones, are, the, the meats are tenders and they have the special taste of it. I don't know what it is. It's not cumin. And the banana, the fried banana, hoo-hoo. 